Malcolm was not not a craftsperson. He didn't know how to actually make something. Perhaps he could have done, but as I could do it, I was the one who actually practically practically made things and often when I took them to a certain stage Malcolm would get me to try them on and start pulling them around. It wasn't designing clothes on a bust, it, the techniques came out more of paint, out of painting more than out of direct um, concern with the rules and regulations of making clothing because Vivian was not taught I was a painter and shrugged off most of whatever I knew. I mean, I did have a whole vocabulary of understanding of textiles and cloth, and I knew where to go. But um, that wasn't the side of it that I was interested in. It was more the sloganizing and the concocting of damage-driven clothes, you know? <laughs> I made the bondage trousers and then he, absolutely brilliantly, put the strap round the leg. I came up with the idea, well, you know, you've got to tie the legs together, so we've got to form a strap around the kneecaps. Um, we should have a zip that wouldn't ordinarily end at your balls, but would go right up your bum. So it would, it would, you, you could immediately undo the zip and the whole goddamn lot would just fall out. And he just said that we should attach this little flap thing on the back and he was right. I remember asking him what the towel in flap was supposed to be and he didn't know. He just thought that it was right that we should put a flap on the back. I said it should be out of toweling for some reason. He wanted to give a suggestion of something tribal, something looking like a loincloth. So, all those things were obviously anti the high street, anti even the King's Road. They had never been seen before. Just as we've been disillusioned with teddy boys as not being terribly interesting in the end, etc., we became disillusioned with punk. The thing that really did it for me was when I heard <clears throat> the Clash boasting that they'd never lived, any of them, lower down than five storeys high. And they seemed to think that that was a great badge of working class credibility. And I just didn't want to be in this tunnel with this kind of dull attitude. I thought that she definitely wanted to be a designer now. There was a desire to continue to live together, but something that was a strain upon me emotionally at the time. And yet I felt a certain allegiance to try and get involved again in fashion, but this time from the point of really addressing Vivian as a designer now. At that time, my shop lease was ready to be given up and I decided to keep it because I realised already how much punk had influenced um, the, the world of fashion. The pret a -port cat shows were already starting to wear things that I'd designed. And um, I thought I was good enough and I decided to to enter the world of fashion as a designer and to do a catwalk show. This was planned. and. Um, when people asked me what I was going to do, I said I didn't know, but I knew it was going to be romantic.